So I'm going to walk you through how to install plugins for Ashrin's call. And the plugin I'm going to do is MagTools because that's a plugin that you should have if you don't have it. But it's one that I know doesn't have an installer. It's just a DLL file. So most plugins have an installer and all you have to do is run the installer and it does everything for you. But once you download the DLL file, everything is done through decal. That is how you actually add them. So just as a side note, I try to get all of my add-ons from the GDL Enhanced website, which is gdleac.com. And the reason I get it from this website is they just seem to work. Just as an example, an Allegiance member had gotten the plugin Tings from another website. I guess they just did a Google search, they found it, they installed it, but when they launched the game, it crashed their game. So my recommendation to them was to get it from this website, the GDL website, and then it worked for them. So I try to get all my add-ons from this website. So we'll go to the Decal Plugins and Metas tab, and then MagTools is right here. So we'll click Download File, then it brings you to this page. And this page at first confused me, but you want the DLL. So what we'll do, and this is the important part for you to remember, is where you put it. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop, just for the sake of this video, just to make it easier. But you save it wherever you want to. What I actually did was I created a decal plugin folder in my documents. So all the plugins that I download, I put them into that folder. That way I know where they are, even the DLLs. So we're just going to save it to my desktop. Click save. All right, so we're basically done with that step. We got it downloaded, and you'll see it right here, Mag Tools. All right, so what you want to do is on your desktop, if you have decal installed, run decal, decal 3.0. Double click it, and it looked like nothing happened, but it's running. It's down here on your start menu. Or sometimes, if I click this little arrow, it's actually going to throw it into here now. So it'll either be on your start menu or it's going to be in this mix of icons that you have. So double click this and you can see MagTools is not in here. A bunch of add-ons are in there, but MagTools is not. So to get it in there, what you do is click add, browse, go to where we saved it at, our desktop, and it's right here. Click save. And at that point, it's added. It doesn't seem like anything happened, but it's added. So all you gotta do is close this, and it's right here now. And what I always seem to do whenever I do add a plugin, I always click update. It's just a habit. I don't really know if that actually does anything. It's just, like I said, it's a habit. So that process of how I added MagTools is how you add all plugins that don't have an installer. Just the most important thing for you to do is remember where you downloaded the DLL file because nobody can help you with that. <laughs> that. That's more or less up to you to figure out on where you put it at. Usually the default is the downloads folder. So that's probably where I would check if you're not sure where it went or just re-download it and Internet Explorer and even Firefox give you the same option. Like if I were to re-download it, for example, I have to rename it something else. It'll be open folder. So this is opening my desktop, essentially what it's opening. And this is telling you where it is, what folder it's in. So if you're not sure, that's the way to know. Because it'll actually tell you up top the full path to the folder. To the file, I should say. But yeah, that is how you add a plugin for Ashran's call. And I hope that you get mag tools. It's a very good plugin to have. It has a lot of features uh, that you can do with it. And I hope that you like the video and subscribe to my channel. All right, take care.